Funding for The Bikini Chef is brought to you in part by Fortune Finishing Touch Sauces. For more information, log on to their website at fortunefoods.com. Whole Foods Market, selling the highest quality natural and organic products available. Hyatt Regency Irvine, minutes from John Wayne Airport and within easy access of LAX. Hyatt Regency Irvine ensures guests experience the very best in Southern California's business and leisure attraction. Flatabo Automotive Group of Irvine, you gotta go to Flatabo. Valentine Group LAPR. Mana Cosmetics. Island Tan. Enjoy Chef Susan Irby's book, The Substitute Yourself Skinny Cookbook. Cut the calories, keep the flavor with hundreds of simple substitutions. For more information, log on to thebikinichef.com for some great recipes and free Welcome podcasts. Welcome to Bikini Lifestyles, where we wine, dine, and work out. I'm with my co-host, Steve Valentine and Denise Flatabo. Kevin, what are we going to be making? So you just brown it on each side? Yeah, I see it with salt and pepper and I brown it on both sides. Simple to do at home. Simplicity. Getting our heart revved up, we're burning those calories, boosting our metabolism. We wine, dine, and worked out, and we're here at Amory's in Newport Beach for our fashion segment. Welcome to Bikini Lifestyles, where we wine, dine, and work out. I'm Susan Irby, the Bikini Chef, and I'm with my co-host, Steve Valentine and Denise Flatabo. Hey, Being healthy and bikini is a way of life, and Bikini Lifestyles gives you all the tools you need with a little bit of fitness, food, and fashion. Today, it's about everything in moderation with Chef Bruno Serrato of the Anaheim White House. So what do you say? Let's get cooking. Mm -hmm. Today's show is about everything in moderation. We're going to be cooking some beef and pork, and those can be bikini, right, Kevin? You betcha. This is Kevin Fortune, and we have Chef Keith Otter of Desert Sage Restaurant in La Quinta. What are we cooking up today, guys? So, so, so today we're cooking a ribeye steak with four peppercorn sauce. Yum. Pork chop with a delicious mulligatawny curry sauce. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out. You're going to love it. Wait and see. <laughs> A Chateaubriand with stroganoff sauce. Chateaubriand, Chateaubriand with the stroganoff sauce. Okay, so no, what wait, do you got that's going? a really thick steak. Like, your heels are almost that high. Like <laughs> Not mine, inches. that would be yeah. Denise. Okay. Well, I got a pork in the pan and searing. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. Golden brown. So you just brown it on each side? Yeah, I see it with salt and pepper and I brown it on both sides. And I'll probably just put it in the oven for a few minutes. Now, Chef, I want to ask you about that. So why do you put it in the oven? Well, because I wanted to cook evenly. It cooks evenly, and so you sear it to get the color on the outside, Correct, yeah. and then you finish it in the oven. That Isn't good. that kind of cheating? No, <laughs> it's not cheating. It's oh, much more what tender. Do. <laughs> <laughs> what temperature did you use? Okay, good question. I use a 450. Okay. 450? Temperature of choice 450. All right, and then what else do we have going on here? So we have some vegetables. We have some rapini. Yeah, broccolini. Broccolini. You say rapini, I say broccolini. <laughs> right? So what I do, I just put them in um, boiling water. You blanch them with some salt. But how long do you put it in there for? Well, I got just a minute or two with salt and boiling water. A minute or two. I do mine for like 30 seconds because it just brings out the color, the really pretty green color of the dishes, of the vegetables. And yep. then you have some potatoes that you roasted. Now you just roasted those in the pan. Yeah, I got my meat nice and golden brown. I threw my potatoes in. And then that'll go in the oven also. Would that be one of these right here? <laughs> <laughs> you should dip it in the sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah. So that yeah. was the Chateaubriand. Now explain to people, explain to the audience what Chateaubriand is. Well, Chateaubriand should be the tenderloin of beef, but just the centerpiece. The centerpiece? Yes. Yeah. So, Chateaubriand is the same thing as filet mignon? Yes, correct. Okay, so Chateaubriand then is a whole bunch of filet mignons all together. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, it's, it's the, the whole, of the center. It's okay. the whole tail on a beef, but we exclude it to the top and the tail. Yeah, the okay, center of the center. all right. Perfect. And then, 
I mean, a lot of people are intimidated to cook Chateaubriand. So what's the best way to you see? You seared it off over there. And oh, then you finish easy. that in the oven too? Yeah, very easy. For how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes at how many degrees? 450 degrees. 450 degrees. That's after you seared it off. After you seared, seared it off. off. Now we have some fresh thyme. So I'm just going to show. Fresh thyme is one of my favorite ingredients. Okay, so part of bikini cuisine is cooking with fresh herbs and citrus flavors. We don't have really any citrus flavors here, but we have fresh thyme. I call, I call thyme tedious thyme. Because, Chef, I don't know about you, you can tell me if I'm doing it wrong, but I take the leaves and I pull it backwards off the stem, and then you still want to chop them up a little bit before you use them. But I think, Chef, you mainly use them for garnish here? Yeah, I use them for garnish. I use them for the salad. It's, it's great with the meat. Great with meat, great with everything. I think, I think the aesthetic is great, too, when you finish But I, I also want to know what these right. are. So these are some funky mushrooms here. Are these, these look like lobster mushrooms to me. Am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. I'm wrong. Uh, those are central mushrooms. That's why he's the chef and I'm the bikini chef. I've never heard of a lobster mushroom. You've never heard of a lobster mushroom? Well, I mean, is this for me to eat? Yes, <laughs> yes, it's a hair piece. <laughs> <laughs> These are chanterelles, but you know, contrary to what a lot of people think, mushrooms actually do provide nutrition, and they have a lot of water content, right? A lot of fiber, and would you agree with me, Chef? They take on the flavors of the the other ingredients they're with, yeah, kind of. Sponges, yeah. Okay, That's well, all I'm kind of. but it's actually the dumb vegetable. <laughs> do we have your permission to eat? Yes. So I want to try the Chateaubriand first. Is that okay? okay get some plates. That's great. I love Chateaubriand. I don't really get to have. Chateaubriand is really for a special occasion, right? Like New Year's Eve or a holiday. I know when I used to go to the Peabody Hotel. New Year's Eve for a holiday. I know when and I we have a fork. We have forks and forks. Oh, and <laughs> they miraculously appear <laughs> underneath. We just, it's a very okay. fancy dish. Here you go, Steve. Very, fancy. very easy to prepare. Very easy to prepare. But look how thick that is. I mean, that's got to be at least like three inches thick. You probably need some sauce. A little stroganoff sauce on yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. Right. Now, what is a stroganoff oh, sauce me, anyway? Kevin, well, this you. is a, like an old world Russian recipe. It has uh, has beef beef stock in it, a red wine, a touch of sour cream, mm. some spices, Yum. and it's delicious. So, Chef, what is the perfect temperature? 125. 125 for Chateau Brion? Delicious. Oh, because I, all the other times mm. you say 450. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you want to meet him? So 125? That's low. Wow. Well, because it keeps cooking after it comes out of the oven. That's so nice. now we've been enjoying this delicious Chateau Briand with a stroganoff sauce. We're going to head over to Bruno Serrato at the Anaheim White House for more everything in moderation. Really good. Mm. So, Bikini, you're not eating. Lifestyles is about everything in moderation, and I'm with Chef Bruno Serrato at the Anaheim White House in Anaheim. Buonasera, Chef. Ciao, Chef Susan. Hi. Come stai? Tutto bene, tutto bene. So now you've cooked for many celebrities and things like that. Before we talk about them, let's get cooking. What are we going to be making? We're going to make penne matriciana, which is penne a matriciana. is a specialty from Rome. Excellent. In fact, here I have my penne over here, which okay. you're going to put on the water already before I get ready with the sauce. Now, as you're doing that, what are some of the celebrities that you've cooked for? Well, my favorite one, number one, which is the Queen of Pop, Madonna. Really? Who was the first celebrity that we done. Oh, wow. And uh, we had also Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani? Uh, yeah, so we have uh, Andrea Bocelli. Oh my gosh, all these musicals. Two presidents in the United States, which President Carter, President Bush. Well, you know, I'm and from by the Georgia, way, so. beside the point, I want to make sure we don't yes. figure out how good a matriciana. Okay. Put in some bacon in the pan. Bacon. Now, would you use prosciutto? Is that the same thing? No, thing? prosciutto no? will get a little bit too dry okay. on it, uh, which I love it. Bacon would be the perfect item for the matriciana. Because okay. as you know, Roman can be very mad if you don't follow the right recipe. So you let them cook for a few minutes, you know, All like right. the pasta sticking my six, seven times. You make sure then 
to our audience, always salt in the water. Always salt in the water. A lot of people forget to put the salt in the water. Why and do you the past salt? Because that should give it the flavor, and the flavor stays in the pasta when you mix it. Without salt, pasta doesn't taste well. Oh, okay. So it tastes better that way. Much, much now, better. Now I know that you do pasta every night for the kids. Yeah, this is my passion oh, okay. the last seven years. Thanks for mentioning it. But let me put some onions first, okay? okay. Before, like that, we won't onions get to. First, yeah. And the kids. Now we Not have. Uh, bacon. Yeah. <laughs> bacon and That's onions. Boring. Here we are. Take a few minutes to cook. But yeah, every night at 5 o'clock, I prepare dinner for 300 underprivileged children. They are children who live in motel area and they don't have dinner. And one of the items is also the amatriciana because I serve pasta with red sauce, which they like better than the white sauce. I mean, amatriciana is one of the items. Okay. And uh, these kids are... Well, I'm sure the kids like bacon. They love bacon. They love my tomato sauce. And that's just a little bit of bacon, not too much. No, right? no, it's good Everything enough, yeah. in moderation for a healthy bikini lifestyle. And uh, talk about the kids, so far I serve 350,000 children. 350,000 children. And that's um, Katerina's Club? Katerina's Club is my foundation, which is part of the Anaheim White House restaurant. And I want to congratulate you on being one of CNN's heroes. Yeah, it was amazing this year. I was selected uh, over uh, 40,000 names in 82 countries. And uh, I was the 10th finalist uh, honoree. We did a show at the Shrine Auditorium. I saw that. I saw you with Anderson Cooper. I yeah, and uh, Jerry Sanfield introduced me. And it was good because also raised a lot of money for the children, which that is what uh, right. my passion is for it. Okay, so we have that going. Yeah, and I'm going to add a little bit of the tomato sauce. To, okay, this is, let okay. me add, this is my marinara sauce for the uh, matriciana. Okay, we take me a few seconds to cook. It's almost ready. Okay. Simple to do at home. Simplicity, yes. as we say, you open the refrigerator, you will find some bacon and some onions. You open the cabinet in the kitchen, you will find some pasta, and definitely very fast to do it. Will we find you? Can I open the cabinet and find you? Yes, you will find me too sometime. <laughs> and for who likes spicy, I'm putting a little bit of crushed pepper. I love pepper. spicy. There spicy you go. is very good for you. It's metabolism friendly. I agree with you. It helps you burn calories. I'll read uh, some of your book on it, which was very good. Thank See, you. the sauce is ready. You see how beautiful it is? It is. Gorgeous. Excellent. My pasta is probably really cooked. Yes, I can tell just to look at it. I'm Italian. I very good eyes on my pasta. Okay. I love your whole demonstration setup here. Oh, it's a uh, simplicity for people at home to be able to do that. A wife or the husband come home, she should do that table side service, flambe. And uh, the husband will love her forever. In Valentine dinner. She that in her bikini? Uh, she should that in her bikini. It will be a good Valentine forever in life. Okay, okay. see, my pasta is ready. And what I do, little parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Do you ever use parmesan or reggiano on there? Parmesan reggiano, always. 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 Okay. It looks delicious. Let me switch on this one. We got a here? We have second. There you go. Celery. Is this a basil? Little garnish. garnish. This is the garnish of. And voila, you have a pina matriciana ready. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent dish. Very easy to prepare. No more than eight minutes. Okay. Our second course, Susan, we have a salmon. Salmon. I love salmon. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like grilled salmon, so taste salmon. That's what I usually do. Which is fine to do so. I like my salmon more soft. It will tell you, I see them in the water. You see, I have some carrot. I'm yeah, you put a little bit of any herbs you want it to give the salmon flavor. You put salt, pepper, carrot, celery. Leave them for probably on seven, eight minutes. Salmon That's what will be. It's very bikini. It's full of amazing It's your color acid. too, your pink color, which yes, is your color, pink. I know. I have my little sauce for the salmon here. This is a ginger beurre blanc sauce, which I'm going to warm it up before the salmon. Blanc sauce. Which is very, very it's good. Perfect. Yeah, fresh ginger give it a bite on the citrus. Ginger is very good for your immune system. 
You see, we know we're going to be fine together because <laughs> simplicity and a good flavor. Yes. Look how beautiful that is. Et voila. Oh, so you put that right on there, and then you just heated the sauce, and you're going to pour it The over. sauce is ready. Okay. That was so fast. See? And look, I put a little green garnish around. Now, what is this green garnish? This is put a red pepper. Yeah, show to the camera because look how pretty the salmon looks like. It it. Is. Just no more than seven minutes, you can prepare a poached salmon on it. And now I'm very excited. We're going to get to taste everything. Definitely. Yum. Like we say, buon appetito. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Let's bon share a great dinner tonight. Yeah. A great friendship. <laughs> A yes. great chef Susan Bikini Girl. Great chef Bruno Serrato. Mm. As you see, Susan, okay. here, the three dish we just prepared, and now we have two friends who's going to well, give I'm us a really judgment okay. on I'm it. Really <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm it's just adorable. digging in. Chef, may I serve you some salmon? Yes, a little piece, it would be perfect. Now there's ginger sauce. Ginger there. sauce, which is fantastic. Like you see, a yes. salmon of water. See. You have the osobuco, which is uh, yeah. now it's really prepared after three hours mm -hmm. cooking. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make them. No. I think it's I'm going to eat your portion. Okay. <laughs> Try the salmon, Susan, okay. as you tell me, like I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. A soft. Mm. Very good. Show bikini. Perfect for our everything in moderation, bikini lifestyle. Now we wine dine and now we're going to work out. We're going to do some Pilates after this. Chef, are you going to join okay. us? Let's go. <laughs> if I have time. <laughs> Cheers to friendship and great dinner. Cheers. Mm. Hi, this is Street Sizzle with Steve. I'm here in a fitness compound getting a few ideas for bikini lifestyles. I'm going to ask this victim a few questions. Do I look bikini in my spandex? Always. I don't need spandex when I'm in my bikini. Hot, 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 hot. Uh, I have another question. Is walking a workout? Absolutely. Any, anything that you're doing is working out. Cooking is a workout. Continuing our Everything in Moderation show, we're at ABC Pilates in Laguna Niguel with Amy Caddy, and we're about to get our Skinny Lotties on. And Skinny Lotties is not a drink, it's a workout, right? Absolutely. Skinny Lotties is so great. It encompasses all the benefits of Pilates strength training, and then we're going to add some interval cardio training to burn up those calories. Okay, burning calories, that's what we want. Let's get started. All right. Okay, guys, let's uh, start with our arms out. We're going to roll back slowly through the spine. Arms are going to go down by your side. You're just going to rest comfortably here. Let's just pick up that right leg to a tabletop position and lower it back down. We're going to lift up that left leg. We're going to breathe in and exhale. Put it back down. Take that right arm back. Reach the right arm back and bring it forward. Feet are going to stay down. Take that left arm back. Reach it further and down. I love it, you guys. Just keep moving. That's the best part about it. Lift the right arm and the right leg and lower. I'm excited because I haven't had spandex on since the 70s. It's amazing. Keep those feet down. Reach those arms back. You're going to swing the arms around and come up into this kind of a crunch position or Pilates oh. hundreds position. Take the arms back one more time. Circle the arms around. Bring that chin towards the chest and reach it here and right up in that middle. Take the arms back. Both arms are going to go to the right side. Take it over. We're working the obliques. Beautiful. Oh, right side. Right side. <laughs> reach back behind you again. I that part. Inhale, exhale, lifting up to the left side and reach down. Now we're gonna take our hands behind our thighs and we're gonna round oh. ourselves up and come up to a seated position. We're gonna take those arms out, reaching up to the sky, take the arms down and reach back. So we're breathing a little bit? We are inhaling as <laughs> we go up and we okay. exhale, you're right, as we, we can breathe back. Yes. <laughs> inhale okay up, take the arms to the right side and reach. Beautiful, you guys. And up and over. Getting a little warm up, working those obliques, the rectus abdominis, the transverses. Your arms are gorgeous. Why, thank you, Steve. And come up, let's put our hands down and if you guys can just come up to standing, we're gonna start with some warm up interval training. We're gonna stand forward and what I want you guys to do, we're just gonna do like a little plie. So you, you, I know how to dance, so you get all that, you know how to do that, walking all the way out. And we're here in our wide second position, pulse. Two, three. 
core, and now we're gonna swing the arms. Swing, swing. Oh, this is fun, swing. I like it. Ooh, oh, sorry, Susan. <laughs> now we're gonna add stepping to the right, and swing. Okay. Swing. Why is this swing. getting on this? Swing. Well, we are actually now getting our heart revved up. We're burning those calories, boosting our metabolism. We're gonna start sweating in just a few minutes. You're speaking my language. Bring everything back together, and I want you guys, we're gonna do the push-pull, so we're gonna step back, okay. and we're gonna pull back. Pull back. Pull oh, back. Pull 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 Punch. Come on, Denise, punch. you can punch. Reach. Get reach. down. Reach. Okay. Reach. Yep, get deeper in that plie. Your heart should be getting going. Oh, I'm not my arm is going to reach. Up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watch uh, out, Steve. Up. Uh, now we're going to add some legs. Punching. Reach. 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 Oh, that reach. <laughs> Look at Steve go ready. And how long do you do this for? We can get this up to 30 to 45 minutes. Oh. And it's wonderful Ooh. because you get both benefits of core and interval training in a quick amount of time. Okay, okay. and um, about how many calories do you think you burn? I would say for 30 minutes, we probably, let's go back down to the mat, about 500 calories. Wow. All right, more abdominals. Okay. Reach those arms out, breathe in. Roll all the way back. We're gonna take our legs up to what we call a tabletop position. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Come forward into a crunch position. We're gonna pulse the arms. These are traditional 100s. Traditional 100s. Is that because you're doing 100? We are doing 100. You're absolutely right. Suck it in, yes. <laughs> Suck it in. Pull that right knee to the chest and extend that left leg long. And we're gonna switch, inhale. Exhale. Look at her feet. How beautiful. I know. Exhale. I'm trying to impress you, Steve. Exhale. Very good. Look at my socks. I like my socks. We'll take those legs socks. straight up to the ceiling. Let's pulse again. Okay, this is a great. Thing really for stretch abs. those legs, ladies. And gentlemen. And gentlemen. Switch legs. Switch. Oh. And stretch. And stretch. Keep those legs as straight as you can. Feet are slightly pointed. Are you giving us gold medals when we're done? <laughs> I am. I am. You guys are doing great. You look wonderful. Keep going. Pull those knees in and lower the oh, head I'm down. Oh, I'm feeling it. Let's come up onto our elbows. Wow. Oh my our gosh, legs we're are not good. done yet? We are not done. <laughs> we're going to do some can-can legs. Can-can legs. We're going to extend and in. Oh. And reach. And really reach those legs out towards me. Point those feet. Abs are in tight. One yeah. more. And then because of our hard work and um, wonderful Tony. No, we already ate. <laughs> it's time to uh, have a little wine and dine with our fashion. Okay. Oh. Do you cook in your bikini? I always do. And one more thing. Do you cook in high heels? Absolutely. High heels. Everything. Or nothing. Nothing. I like that. This is Bikini Lifestyles on the street with Steve signing off. We've wine dined and worked out, and now we're here at Amaury's in Newport Beach for our Bikini Lifestyle fashion segment. We've got Steve again. I'm with two of my Molly. favorite girls, these two right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're ditching Not you us? Two. That's it. These Thanks a lot. Threw we're the baby water. out with the bath water. What's she wearing? <laughs> okay, these are beautiful dresses that um, were inspired by 17th century studies of butterfly wings and 18th century plant and seascapes. 18th the, and 17th century. So I know. Susan was yeah. born. Oh. <laughs> I'm really old now. <laughs> the, this is Thanks white. This, or the white one is cotton, and the green one is silk. And aren't they beautiful? They are gorgeous. They really are. Very bikini. Susan's got a very beautiful green silk dress on as well. It's very uh, tropical, Denise. Uh, yeah, so we wear this on your boat or in, on your jet? Uh, yes. Is that okay. what we would do? Yes, we could do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love and it. And what a are lot. you wearing? Did we talk about oh, just yes, the houndstooth, the houndstooth, a little bit khaki, yeah. Yeah. some All jeans, right. Great. just a little touch of bling oh, right he here. He always has to have no, the bling on. Yes, he has his bling. <laughs> and a little faux animal mm -hmm. friend down there. Wonderful. Well, thank you so thank much, you. and thank everyone, all of our guests today, and thank you for joining us on Bikini Lifestyles. 
where we wine dine and work out. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we do. Oh, right I here. know. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, we wine dine and work out so we can fit into these gorgeous clothes. So thank you again. And until next time, it's Denise, Steve, and Susan sending you gourmet, gourmet wishes, wishes and flattering waistline. waistline. Funding for the Bikini Chef is brought to you in part by Fortune Finishing Touch Sauces. For more information, log on to their website at fortunefoods.com. Whole Foods Market, selling the highest quality natural and organic products available. Hyatt Regency Irvine, minutes from John Wayne Airport and within easy access of LAX. Hyatt Regency Irvine ensures guests experience the very best in Southern California's business and leisure attraction. Flatabo Automotive Group of Irvine. You gotta go to Flatabo. Valentine Group LAPR. Mana Cosmetics. Island Tan. Enjoy Chef Susan Irby's book, The Substitute Yourself Skinny Cookbook. Cut the calories, keep the flavor with hundreds of simple substitutions. For more information, log on to thebikinichef.com for some great recipes and free podcasts.